Hi folks, in this very short video, I'm going to describe the concept of ambient authority. Um, in cybersecurity, we could describe ambient authority as this um, really common design flaw in almost every system that we use. Um, and so, so I'm going to describe what the problem is or what the what what ambient authority means and then some clues as to like different way, ways that you can try and avoid avoid it. So ambient authority is whenever you basically grant access to something without actually proving that you have access to that specific resource. So if you had like a specific token that said, yeah, I, look, this tells me that I'm allowed to access that thing. Um, if that's not how you're doing it, then you have ambient authority essentially. Um, and so most modern systems have some form of ambient authority. And it's the case whenever at any point the system can use more privileges than what's actually required of the specific tasks that are happening. So a program that's running could, um, you know, be um, receiving requests from a user and, um, you know, we could receive a request that says read a file for me or read that file. It will receive another request that says read a file for me. And actually, there's nothing to stop that program from doing something completely different um, just based on what privileges are given to that program. So the problem is that the program isn't actually forced to act in specific ways on a typical like operating system. That program actually runs with the ability to do like everything that the user is allowed to do. For example, on a like user-oriented access control, so like on uh, like a standard desktop Windows program or a Linux desktop program, basically any process can do read any of your files at any point. There's you know there's no controls in place that stop that from happening. Um, so yeah, requests. Um, are usually used um, determined based on who, who the user is using like ACLs for example like access control lists um, or just in terms of the sessions that are open at the moment and what um, that user is allowed to do based on that session so with cross site request forgery for example you've got a session open on that server and therefore at any point you can make any request um, potentially so that's the problem with that ambient authority and there are you know additional controls that you can put in place like you know you can layer in extra protections um, like using sandboxing or uh, you know with access controls or you could use um, the protections that exist against cross-site request forgery um, but you'll still basically have this problem of ambient authority unless you actually design your system so that with every request that gets sent, you need to prove that you have permission to do that specific action and to only give those permissions to those actions when they're actually needed. So, and if you design a system like that, you would probably end up with something that it resembles a capability system. Um, but there's just like, there's a reason why that's not used all the time and it's like a usability and design problem. Um, but that's what ambient authority is. It's a really important concept um, and it's really important to think about the fact that this is how security works is that you basically a program while it's running or a process while it's running has the ability to do a bunch of stuff and it's not necessarily just the things that you expect it to do.